2023 is such an amazing year for gamers and the game awards game of the year is almost here we got hogwarts legacy the long-awaited harry potter game we got starfield the not so great bethesda game we got alan wake 2 the amazing looking game that i'm too scared to play <laughs> and we got some great indie games like sea of stars cassette beast cocoon and dave the diver so what is the top five of the games i like the most this year and what is the game of the year in my honest opinion let's talk about it this game looked like a roblox game but i assure you it's nothing like that battlebeat remastered is a shooter game with a massive amount of players it supports 254 players in one server most of the buildings are destructible the gunplay is satisfying and it's just fun to use the in-game voice to interact with teammates or even enemies you can hear me Tell my wife i love her no no no, no! If you're looking for a fun time, maybe something that you can play in a shorter time here and there, Battlebit Remastered is a good game for that. A Space for the Unbound is probably the least known title from this list, but I love this game. It's a game made by Indonesian game developers about a life in the 90s rural Indonesia. You are playing as Atma, a high schooler with a normal life, but suddenly things getting crazy around him. People are glitching out, monster appearing out of nowhere, and his girlfriend is missing too. You have to figure out what is happening and what to do to fix the whole thing. The game is a side-scrolling puzzle adventure, basically you need to explore explore, talk to people, and track back to assemble the puzzle pieces you found together. The game is also looks beautiful, especially the pixel art and how they nails the 90s rural Indonesia. A lot of things from my childhood that I remember is also in the game, a lot of cool easter eggs for Indonesian people, it's just lovely. If you like games like Oxenfree, the supernatural thriller game, or Night in the Woods, the game about a college dropout and her lonely I think you will like a space for the unbound. I was really surprised when this game became one of the nominees for the game awards in the games for impact category well deserved and as Indonesian myself I'm really happy that one of the Indonesian games is being appreciated worldwide. I cannot believe that not only this game made into this list but also the fact that I managed to play this game in the first place. Resident Evil 4 Remake is a fun horror game that even as someone who's scared of anything horror related like me can enjoy this game a lot. In my opinion, Resident Evil 4 Remake is more leaning towards action survival game with some horror elements. It's definitely not as scary as Resident Evil 2 remake for example and that's why i can enjoy this game a lot there is only one area that came to my mind in resident evil 4 that are genuinely scary that one dark area where you are playing as ashley even then the horror in this game is pretty manageable if you're looking for a resource management action shooter game that's not too scary resident evil 4 remake is a perfect game for that Tears of the Kingdom is just really unique and pure fun. As a sequel of Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom isn't trying to become the better game, but it definitely is a different game in a good way. If Breath of the Wild is like the best example for open world game back in the day, Tears of the Kingdom feels like the game developers just flexing with their ideas and giving so many tools for the players to have so much fun. Basically, whenever you have a thought like, can I actually do this with this tool? 80% of the time, you actually will be able to do that. I cannot think any other games that give the players this kind of freedom to play with their creativity and their imagination like Tears of the Kingdom. The way Nintendo made an entirely new game mechanics, integrated well with the storytelling, and created this handcrafted world that somehow feels genuinely fun with a lot of clever puzzle. Everything is just so good. The only 
only reason why Tears of the Kingdom is not my game of the year is the story. Don't get me wrong, the story is pretty good. There is one big story reveal that caught me off guard and made me sad tears a little bit. But the story in general is just not impactful enough for me, personally. With all being said, play the drum roll please. Here is the game of the year 2023 in my honest opinion. The ultimate game of this year goes to... I cannot believe that there is a game like Baldur's Gate 3. And I can honestly say that I'm really lucky to be able to experience this game. It's just that great. Baldur's Gate 3 is just the best in every aspect that I mentioned in this video. You can role playing as anyone you want, including as yourself. And when I say this, the game actually respects players' choices. You want to be lawful, you want to be chaotic, or even downward evil where you want to kill everyone everyone? All of that is possible. Of course, there is still the common thread of the story, so it's not as free to the point that it feels like a live or role-playing simulator, but it's really well made. The amount of branches of conversations are insanely a lot. The combat is fully tactical with great amount of freedom in how to approach the combat and how to build every character in your party. The world is massive with a lot of random events you can enjoy and the characters feel alive. I love, love the voice acting in every character in this game. Baldur's Gate 3 is almost perfect in any aspects. I spent almost 200 hours in Baldur's Gate 3 and fully immersed in this game. This game is at least worth trying for anyone who loves video games. So that's my game of the year in 2023 and best games I played this year. This of course my opinion and I'm curious to hear yours. What is your game of the year in 2023? Is there is a game you really enjoyed this year that is not in this video? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy watching it and subscribe to this channel for more gaming discussion. As always, thank you for watching and here's my other videos that you might enjoy watching too. Hope you have a nice day and see you later.